history's greatest rivalries, Frazier and Ali, the Red Sox and Yankees, Iggy Azalea and Nicki Minaj. But one rivalry that you may not have heard of was between two of the greatest inventors of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the electrifying battle of Thomas Alva Edison and Nikola Tesla. And the winner gets all the power. Nikola Tesla was a scientist whose inventions enabled our modern day electrical supply system. His supposed rival and former boss, Thomas Edison, was the iconic American inventor of the light bulb and the phonograph. Legend has it they waged a war of the currents in the 1880s over whose electrical system would power the world, Edison's direct current system or the system for which Tesla is often credited, alternating current. Mark Gruther, chief curator at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan, helped us understand the drama between the AC and DC camps. This rivalry, is this something that we've today embellished that we've projected onto it? Or was it really what, like an East Coast, West Coast rap kind of rivalry? There was a rivalry at the time, but the rivalry, frankly, was more business related. So you do get the situation in the 1880s of alternating current systems and direct current electrical systems. So sort of button heads. AC and DC systems had different advantages and disadvantages. Edison's DC system used a safer, lower voltage, but was only economical in densely populated cities and towns. The AC system, which Tesla championed, could be used for transmission over longer distances, but it used much higher voltage. Tesla did not invent AC, but he worked tirelessly to prove it was superior to Edison's DC system. Tesla did not invent alternating current. What he invented was a motor that could run on alternating current. Do we use both today? Absolutely. You're probably carrying a DC infrastructure in your pocket. So computers, smartphones, those all typically run on DC. AC, however, is what's being sent to your house. Direct current has some very real advantages. Alternating current has real advantages. And you end up with these hybrid systems that, that use both of them. So Tesla's AC system sends electricity to your house. There, some of that power needed for non-AC appliances is converted to Edison's direct current, which powers many of your devices. And although science lovers worldwide continue to take sides as though the war rages on today, it's fair to say the coexistence of both AC and DC powering our modern world is really a win-win for all of us.